Everyone always hates that blank page feeling. The neat part is with Miro, there's so much that you can do once you hit this blank page. That way you're not left feeling this, okay, what next kind of feeling. So I wanna give you three tips to kickstart that blank page process. Tip number three is actually what I use most of the time. First tip is you don't have to start with just a blank board. You can start with whatever feels like it works with what you're trying to come up with in the given time. A diagram, a document. I actually took notes in a document in Miro for this particular video. Next. You don't have to start from scratch. You can just tell Miro with the use of AI and assistance what you want to do. Miro's assistants actually have full context of things that you've already created within your Miro workspace, as well as the templates that they have. Like let's say, theoretically, I have a Laravel Eloquent course that I'm wanting to put together for an upcoming project. I can have it help me diagram some things that might be missing for that particular course. And lastly, seriously, this is the one that I use the most just because it fits best with my brain. Just put sticky notes everywhere. I mean, whether it's you just putting everything that you might think about onto the page all at once, or just being able to have a place that, okay, after you take these sticky notes, maybe again, using Miro, you can just implement them into a Kanban board or a, a sheet or a different kind of note. But I think notes just fit best with my brain. I can just click N and have something ready to go to start typing into. There's so much that Miro does and those notes act as like a digital kindling of firewood for my brain to make sure I get everything out on the page. And the good thing is then those notes can turn into a document or maybe a prototype or maybe my next video. So yeah, I think Miro is a place to create and to collaborate, but it's also just a place to build.